and through that people have to discover and rediscover. The Japanese took on so many Western ways. And, but, and, and, and even if the Western way, which I, I think it is, is uh, has something inevitable about it, it's, 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 the, the, um, point. it's the point of this. The point like when of you put it down, you know, identifying it again, it's like a pin. But is it this simply way? by being the point of the sphere, okay, let's see this one. It, it, it generates other problems. It's not like it's just a solution. It's a solution, but it's a problem. And, and that... Let me just put in a... Um, that dynamic is inherent in everything. Layer. Click on the layer. So that there has to be this um, constant That's effort go this of, way. This is coming more of this refinement. Way. Then uh, I got to change the faces. I got some good faces over here I'm going to work from. Which comes down to really no, understanding what we are and what we can be, what we should be, there. and how we can Let be in commun communion with other people, and, and what that means. All right, so I got a face for him, I got a face for him. Her, I don't have a face yet. There's a, there's a very crude dy dynamic. If it's the same, okay. it's easy to recognize, and this, that makes it okay. This leg is going to go forward. And when it's going to go forward, the arm. Let me put that arm in If it's in not there. the same. Just worrying about the placement now. This arm but we, will be there. We can't escape that problem by just... Anything goes. You can't have that. This arm is here. There's all kinds of behavior, even among very, very this civilized people. Suddenly, there can be behavior that is incomprehensible, and put that other arm. by being incomprehensible, be can become frightening. Can go there. And when we're frightened, that's the space there. I should have some space here. Then we then. start stepping out of. So that means this has to go separate it. Let me civilized mode. Let me add that gray to separate that space. And that can right. that can turn to to violence or or other. Let's separate that space right there. Things that are improper in civil society. I'm going to squeeze no pain out yet. I want to work with what I have here. That's why I'm working pretty thin. Because if I squeeze pain out, that's... Once I start squeezing pain, I'm going to stay here for a couple of hours. Civil society depends on some basic accord, so there this has to be has to go ultimate diversity is, is not possible. There have to be a little bit there, there have to be limits. And for those limits to and be this is there. Okay, so I got you know, the, the, the limits at the same time have to allow have to allow for it's a little bit of yellow. For a certain kind of fruitfulness. Otherwise there's all kinds of societies that stagnate. Because they they manage to okay they can, they they can get along but they, they can't blossom out into anything else whereas the West is is always blossoming but it blossoms sometimes in in very bad ways and that's where there has to be living intelligence. Okay. 
to to steer it right. Then I have that gown goes up to there. Does I have a hint of red? A little bit of red up to there, and there's a little bit of red there. Egoism in Nietzsche and Rand by Stephen R. C. Hicks, published in the Journal of Ayn Rand Studies, Volume 10, Number 2, Spring of 2009, pages 249 to 291. Part 1 on Critiquing Altruism. The faces that I need. Three Nietzsche's and Ayn Rand. To what extent is Ayn Rand's ethical theory Nietzschean? Three Friedrich Nietzsche's are relevant to making that judgment. Here is one Friedrich Nietzsche, the worshiper of human greatness. Quote, the concept of greatness entails being noble, wanting to be by oneself, being this able to be different, profile. standing alone, and having to live independently. I got this guy here, Unquote. This face. Such a man, quote, has a taste uh, only for what is good for profile. him. Unquote. Is this a good side and, profile? quote, instinctively seeks heavy responsibilities, unquote. Quote, every choice human being strives instinctively for a citadel and a secrecy where he is saved from the crowd, the many, the great majority, unquote. He also, quote, knows how that's to make enemies face. everywhere. That's the right, that's the right. The noble man, quote, honors himself as one who is powerful, also as one who has power over himself, who knows how to speak and be silent, who delights in being severe and hard with himself and respects all severity and hardness, unquote. There is, quote, some fundamental certainty that a noble soul has about itself, something that cannot be sought, nor found, nor perhaps lost. The noble soul has reverence for itself, unquote. Plus, Quote, believe me, the secret of the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment of existence is to live dangerously. Build your cities under Vesuvius. Send your ships into uncharted seas, unquote. Living such a life, Nietzsche says, quote, one emerges again and again into the light. One experiences again and again one's golden hour of victory. Uh, no. And then one stands forth as one was born unbreakable tensed, ready smaller. for new, even harder, remoter things, like a bow that distress serves to draw tauter." Unquote. Here is another Friedrich Nietzsche, the critic of altruism, hypocrisy, and cowardice, and the best name-caller in the history of philosophy. Nietzsche calls Plato the philosopher who projects another realm of perfect and static forms in contrast to this messy and changeable physical world, quote, a coward in the face of reality. Uh, make this a little unquote. smaller. Christianity, uh, says Nietzsche, quote, is Platonism for the people, that is to say, Plato smaller. for dummies, and also, quote, a rebellion of everything that crawls on the ground uh, against that which has height, unquote. Nietzsche smaller. calls Immanuel Kant, the ruling philosopher of Germany in the 19th century, quote, that most deformed concept cripple of all time, unquote. And, given Kant's, quote, abhorrent scholasticism, unquote, that is, his predilection for spinning neutral, rationalistic webs I'll of ideas to snare the unwary, a, quote, disaster of a spider, unquote. The emerging welfare state of the 19th century is, quote, the coldest of all cold monsters, where, quote, the slow suicide of all is called life. Unquote. Such quotations explain why Nietzsche's writings can be attractive to those also attracted to Ayn Rand's. Rand's sparkling prose and heroic view of man are, like Nietzsche's, a rush of adrenaline to intelligent young readers for whom the world is fresh and full of promise and whose whole lives are ahead of them. Her writings, like Nietzsche's, remain a powerful source of inspiration for older readers who have succeeded in remaining young at heart in a world that contains much but compromise, complacency, up. disappointment, and outright evil. That's Nietzsche and Rand are kindred spirits of passion and exaltation. Those who stay with Rand philosophically as well as literarily do so because they judge that her philosophy of reason, independence, and freedom is true, 
and they hold on to those principles in the face of vigorous opposition from philosophers of irrationality, conformity, and authoritarianism. In most cases, Nietzsche's enemies are Rand's enemies, so philosophical readers of Rand resonate with Nietzsche when he attacks their common enemies in Plato, Kant, and the statists. Yet there is a third Nietzsche, one more ruthless and bloodthirsty. Speaking well of the noble races of the past, Nietzsche explains their accomplishments this way, quote, One cannot fail to see at the bottom of all these noble races the beast of prey, the splendid blonde beast prowling about avidly in search of spoil and victory. This hidden core needs to erupt from time to time. The animal has to get out again and go back to the wilderness." Unquote. About slavery, Nietzsche says that a healthy aristocracy, quote, accepts with a good conscience the sacrifice of untold human beings who, for its sake, must be reduced and lowered to incomplete human beings. All right, so I got that face. I got to save it. Unquote. That's the one About I'm war, use. Nietzsche says, quote, one must learn from war. One must learn to sacrifice many and to take one's cause seriously uh, enough not to spare men. Unquote. About violence in general, Nietzsche says approvingly, quote, the beginnings of everything great on earth are soaked in blood thoroughly and for a long time. Remarks such as these should give pause to any identification of Rand's views with Nietzsche's, That's given Rand's I mean. vehement opposition to slavery and the zero-sum conflict view of the world. Nietzsche that. has become part of the philosophical canon, and Rand is becoming so. Commonly, the two are identified, and this is why the issue of the intellectual relationship between Friedrich Nietzsche and Ayn Rand is an important one. Nietzsche is usually interpreted as an arch-individualist, as anti-altruistic, and as an iconoclast outside the mainstream. The same points are true of Rand. I really don't know what the hell you're talking about. I really don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so this is the face I'm going to use. This is my friend Hector. Let's put the placement of things go. Now the face for this guy, I gotta find me a face. So I, I need a face here and I need a face there. So I can build up with this character here and I'll go out tomorrow and I'll see if I find my um, my face for him. A matter of fact, um, I don't know, I need a face. For her, I need a face. I need a face. Then I'll make this a little different. I'll make this a little different. I'll put 
to sell. This here is coming this way for now. This disappears.
Not ready for you yet. You're a little too bright. Okay, let me uh, Make some coffee. So I gotta get a face for this lady. I'm wondering, she's going a little too uh, Okay, so, um, wait a minute, did I put that, every time I put that down, I kind of, but, uh, okay, so, you can see her shape through this gown, you can see the curve where her back is, you see, the shape of her leg, the strength of the leg coming forward. This leg, I gotta push this leg back here. Let me put it down. So I gotta capture that. I'm just gonna put this line. That way I know. This way, and it's there. That shoulder is coming from back here, and it's pulling. It's like pulling. It's like those muscles are extended. Shoulder muscles are extending. face I'm going to use. For him. I need his face. I need her face. I'll find her face tomorrow. I go
grab, uh, I think I six faces I grabbed today. But nothing that I can use. So I'll find her tomorrow. I just don't know where the hell I'm going to find her. I have to take my long lens because I can in the distance find somewhere. that everyone is wearing a mask these days. I don't know how I'm going to find her. She needs to be around 33, 35. Someone with features of strength, but I would like to get some icy circles or eyes, so maybe not. something else that I'm not. But good always. 